forests cover more than half of this country's territory, contributing to its reputation as one of the greenest countries in Europe. Hello, welcome to Opentiera. Today we're exploring Latvia, a Baltic nation known for its stunning blend of unique architecture, rich cultural heritage and pristine natural landscapes. Tucked away in northeastern Europe along the shores of the Baltic Sea sits the Latvian Republic. It shares land borders with Estonia, Russia, Belarus and Lithuania. Its coastline stretches nearly 500 kilometers along the Gulf of Riga. With just over 64,000 square kilometers of area, Latvia is bigger than Denmark, but smaller than Ireland. Though petite, it boasts some marvelous geographic features. Latvia's landscape is a collection of forests, rivers, lakes, and marshlands. Nearly half of the country is blanketed in forest, making it one of Europe's greenest countries. Its major river is the Daugava, which winds through the country like a lifeblood. The river's floodplains create extensive marshy wetlands, home to diverse flora and fauna, glacial moraines, and over 12,000 lakes scattered across Latvia add to the scenic landscape. The countryside rolls with low fertile plains and hills reaching a maximum height of 312 meters. The country's total population is roughly around 1.8 million people, according to World Bank estimates. The majority ethnic group in Latvia is Latvians, who make up about 62% of the population. Latvians are descended from ancient Baltic tribes like the Curonians and Latgalians, who have inhabited the region for millennia. After centuries of foreign rule, they successfully preserved their language and customs. However, Latvia is also home to significant minority groups, including Russians, Belarusians, Ukrainians, Poles and Lithuanians. Many are descendants of migrants who arrived during the Soviet era. Latvian is the sole official language and is spoken natively by most ethnic Latvians. Latvian belongs to the Baltic branch of the Indo-European language family. Their language nearly disappeared during the years of Soviet rule, but has revived itself since independence. Minority languages like Russian and Polish are also commonly spoken. Latvia's main religions reflect its diversity. About one third of citizens are Protestant Lutheran. Catholicism, Orthodoxy, and the old believer's faith are also practiced. The Latvian Orthodox Church is semi-autonomous under the Moscow Patriarchate. Judaism, Islam, and Baltic paganism attract small numbers of adherents as well. There are also Latvians who are secular with no official religious affiliation. Latvian cuisine blends Slavic, Germanic, and Scandinavian influences into its own unique flavor. Our first stop is a cold soup called Augsta Zupa, made from beets, cucumbers, eggs and dill. It's a refreshing chilled soup, perfect for summer. The pink color comes from the beets and it's usually served with a dollop of sour cream or yogurt. A light starter that shows off Latvian produce. These sweet and savory pastries are a Latvian breakfast staple. Biespiena Platin Shi starts with a dough rolled flat and topped with a cottage cheese filling and often raisins or berries too. Then they're baked into tender, lightly sweet squares, perfect with a hot cup of coffee. Now for a heartier potato pancake known as Kartupelu Pankukas. Latvia's starchy Kartupeli potatoes are grated and fried into large, crispy latkes. Onions, bacon or mushrooms can be mixed in for flavor. Top with sour cream or applesauce and enjoy this filling treat. Finally, we can't miss Frikadelu Zupa, a warming meatball soup. Minced pork and beef frikadeli are simmered in broth with veggies like carrot and tomato. The meatballs make it super satisfying. These and many other tasty dishes await you in Latvia. Let me know in the comments which dish you'd want to try first. 
Located in northeastern Europe along the shores of the Baltic Sea, Latvia has endured a turbulent past of foreign rule, cultural oppression and strife for independence. Yet, despite its struggles, Latvia has emerged as a proud free nation with a rich cultural heritage. The territory of modern-day Latvia has been inhabited since prehistoric times. Ancient Baltic tribes like the Latgalians and Curonians lived in the region as early as the second millennium BC. Strategically situated along Baltic trade routes, the region prospered as a trading hub. The local tribes came under pressure from larger neighbors like the Germanic, Scandinavian and Slavic peoples. By the Middle Ages, most Latvians had converted to Christianity under the Livonian order, a German Catholic military order. In the 16th and 17th centuries, Latvia fell under foreign domination. The region became part of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth and later the Swedish Empire. But Latvia's fate was dramatically altered in 1721 when the Russian Empire absorbed the area during the Northern War. For the next 200 years, the Latvian people would struggle under oppressive Tsarist rule. The Russian Tsars imposed serfdom on the peasantry, exploited Latvia's resources and suppressed Latvian culture and language. World War I finally ruptured the Russian hold on Latvia. After declaring independence in 1918, Latvia fought a war of independence against Soviet Russia and the Baltic German aristocracy. Led by the patriotic Kalis Ulmanis, the Latvians successfully established their nationhood. A democratic republic was formed, land reforms were implemented, the economy was reconstructed, and remarkable cultural growth occurred during this interwear period of independence. In 1944, they were reconquered and annexed by the USSR. Nearly 50 years of Soviet occupation followed. The mass deportations and oppression that occurred under Joseph Stalin continued under Soviet rule. Tens of thousands of Latvians were executed or exiled to gulags. Soviet authorities promoted the migration of Russians and other Slavs into Latvia. Despite Russification policies, Latvians maintained their national identity and protest movements pushed back against Soviet control. The 1980s brought reformist wins under Mikhail Gorbachev. Taking advantage, Latvia's independence movement gained momentum. The Latvian Popular Front led calls for sovereignty. After a failed Soviet crackdown in 1991, Latvia finally restored its independence on August 21st. A new democratic government set about rebuilding the country. Latvia swiftly moved to rejoin the Western world, joining the EU and NATO in 2004. Though challenges remain, today they stand proudly as a free, independent republic, honoring its Baltic roots. This small Baltic country transformed its economy from the turmoil of the Soviet era to robust growth today. Latvia has successfully transitioned into an advanced market economy, but it hasn't always been smooth sailing. As of 2022, its GDP is roughly around $40 billion, according to World Bank estimates. After Latvia regained independence in 1991, they had to rebuild an economy devastated by Soviet mismanagement. Production had focused on USSR needs, not Latvian ones. Early transition to a market economy was painful. GDP fell by over 50% and inflation skyrocketed. Privatization of industry and land resulted in corruption scandals. By the late 1990s, growth resumed after reforms stabilized prices, but skepticism remained. The early 2000s, however, revealed Latvia's remarkable economic potential as reforms powered rapid growth. GDP grew by around 10% per year from 2003 to 2007, earning Latvia the nickname Baltic Tiger. Key reforms included tighter banking regulations and adopting the euro. EU membership in 2004 expanded exports, manufacturing, agriculture, 
food processing, chemical wood products and textiles became major industries again. In 2008, Latvia was hit hard by the global financial crisis. Its overheated economy collapsed as credit dried up. Latvia's GDP plunged by almost 25% in 2009. High unemployment, wage cuts and austerity measures resulted. But Latvia showed resolve in responding to the crisis. The government maintained Latvia's strict currency peg to regain competitiveness. Recovery was tough, but by 2012, growth bounced back again. Today, Latvia has a prosperous open economy and one of the highest GDP growth rates in the EU. Services like IT, finance and tourism are now big sectors. EU investment and adoption of the euro provide stability. Ice hockey is Latvia's most popular spectator sport and national passion. Latvians eagerly follow the exploits of their ice hockey stars playing for NHL teams in North America. But when homegrown team Denamo Riga takes the ice in the Continental Hockey League, fans fill Riga Arena to cheer them on. Ice hockey is like religion in Latvia. You can't talk about sports in Latvia without mentioning basketball. After gaining independence in 1991, Latvia rapidly emerged as a European basketball powerhouse. Latvian NBA stars like Kristaps Porzingis bring pride and attention. The Latvian national basketball team consistently excels in international tournaments, with rowdy fans traveling worldwide to support them. Latvia has also made its mark in various winter sports. Latvian Lug, bobsleigh and skeleton athletes have won medals at the Winter Olympics and World Championships. The bobsleigh and lug track in Sigulda regularly hosts international competitions. Cross-country skiing, biathlon and ice skating are also widely practiced. With cold winters ideal for training, Latvia excels at these cold weather sports. Given the country's small size, Latvia's sporting accomplishments and enthusiasm are remarkable. If you enjoyed this video on Latvia, you'll love this next one.